hands together for the Lord somebody this morning give him a shout of praise this morning forever with my mouth I will make known thy faithfulness to all generations I prophesy that this year you will sing of the mercies of the Lord you will declare his faithfulness from one generation to another we declare that there will be a transgenerational blessing transgenerational 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 testimonies this year will be an excellent year if you believe it let me hear you give a shout and I believe that the Lord who has started the year with us he will preserve us he will bring us his expected end no weapon fashion against you this year shall prosper you will see the backs of your enemies by the help of the most high God he will show you his goodness in the daytime and also in the night watches your head will continually be lifted up. This year, you will be called for honor, for respect, for promotion, and for increase. This year, he will make your path straight. This year, you will experience his blessing like the dew upon the grass in the morning. This year, his light will shine through you and in his light you will have light this year he will pick you up out of the miry clay and put you on the rock to stay this year he will put a new song upon your lips and it will be a song of victory a song of praise a song of adoration a song of power and a song of deliverance this year he will hold you by the hand and he will take you through every part of your life every circumstance of your life he will preserve you this year he will be a shield around you I declare that you will experience continuing victories this year I declare that this year you will embrace a miracle I declare that this year the impossible will become possible for you I declare that this year Jehovah will visit you in a way that you have never experienced before may today be a talking sign to you that the Lord is with you that he is your shepherd and your keeper that he is the one who fights your battles for you this year you will laugh this year you will dance this year you will give a testimony this year you will say that the Lord has also visited me this year the darkness will give way this year the heavy cloud will give way so that the light of God will break through so that the Son of God will break through this year you'll be strengthened on the right hand you'll be strengthened also on the left hand this year your eyes will be single this year you will hear the voice of the Lord and you'll be obedient to that voice this year for every battle you will sing the song of victory this year you will rise to your high places this year you will say that the Lord is my battle axe this year you will say that he is my victorious right hand this year you will say that God has indeed visited me may this year be more blessed than any other year that you have ever had since you were born 
this year you will walk into abundance this year you will walk into riches this year you will walk into the provision of heaven this year sickness will be far away from you disease will be far away from you failure will be far away from you frustration will be far away from you this year the Lord will speak on your behalf and when he speaks every other voice will be silent this year the voice of God will thunder for you it will thunder from heaven and the earth will give way and the underworld will give way and the elements will give way and the principalities will give way and the powers will give way and the rulers of the darkness of this world will give way and the thrones will give way and the dominions will give way this year his light will prevail 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 this year you will be lifted up 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 this year you will be fruitful like no other year that you have had this year you will be successful like no other year that you have had this year will be a year of profit it will be a year of increase it will be a year when you will shine you will shine brighter than your peers you will shine brighter than your superiors you will shine brighter than those who started before you this year your glory will be accelerated this year there will be closure to every outstanding issue god will show you that he is the king of kings he is the lord of laws he is the great i am this year the name of the lord will be your strong tower you will run into that name and you will be safe you will be secured this year you will not die this year you will not give up this year you will not give in this year this year the promise will come back to pass this year the promise will come 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 to pass this year there will be a performance there will be a performance of everything that the lord has declared concerning you i see january opening up for you i see february opening up for you i see much saying i give way i see april increasing for you i see may opening up for you i see june opening up for you i see july opening up for you i see august being a blessing i see september opening up for you i see october opening up for you i see november opening up for you and december may you experience the rain of the blessing of the one who is the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end he will not fail you he will not leave you he will not give up on you his promises are yes and they are amen this year may you experience the amen and the yes of the promises of god this year may you experience the increase that comes only from jehovah this year may the supernatural reign for you this year may the sickness disappear this year may hell break out for you this year may the excellence of god distinguish you this year may you say that the lord has been on my side that the lord has been for me that the lord has protected me this year may you say that once i was lost but now i have been found this year may you be called among those who are blessed among those who are distinguished among those who are outstanding i declare that this year you will shine like a star in the dark sky may it be that this year every storm will become every storm will be abated this year may you rise this year may you be strong weakness is going pain is going destruction is going every month is opening up with the testimony every day is opening up with praise every hour is opening up with mercies every minute is opening up with a declaration of kindness every second is a moment of triumph for you may you be blessed on the right side may you be blessed on the left side may your family be blessed may your children be blessed may your parents be blessed may you not lose any loved one this year may it be a year of life may it be a year of light may it be a year of increase may it be a year of promotion may the excellence of god 
be your continued portion. Let me hear somebody sound yes. Let me hear somebody shout yes. Lift up your two hands if you can this morning. Angels are ministering to people this morning. Your heads are being lifted up. Your hands are being strengthened. We have never been this way before. But the shepherd of our soul, he is with us. And I declare that every word that he has appointed for you this morning, you will receive it with meekness. May the light of God bring understanding and revelation. May you experience the strength of the Most High God. He is with you. And He is for you. Put your hands together for the Lord this morning and kindly take your seats. In the book of Psalms and chapter 89 and verse 20, the psalmist by divine inspiration Mejidi said, and that I feel we, Nami Beye, I did Kesi Amaye. Now, Wusu Ube Kase, Nami Akaime. You will say that the God has, that God has remembered me. He has remembered me. Mejidi said, I feel we, Obema, Nyama Aye, Ye Amaye. If he said, Oh, no, no, Oye Nyami. Now, me did say, I feel we nyami obekasa se nyami kasa. He said, Bibia yekum. To Bibia na wama nitiso wa brabum. Me did say, I feel we nyami be kasa. Now, sa dear no, a yekum. If he say, Oh no, no, oh ye o two for nyami. Oh no, no, sa ye ye. Oh no, no, o se sa nyama. And we have no other God than Jehovah. And so we will need to go through this year with a certain kind of anointing. Hallelujah. With a certain kind of spirit. That is why this year is our year of excellence. And the psalmist says, I have found David my servant and with my own holy oil have I anointed him. Hallelujah. This year, what your knowledge cannot do, the anointing of God will do it for you. Hallelujah. This year, what your connections cannot do, the anointing of God will do it for you. This year, what your relatives cannot do, the anointing of God will do it for you. And God is saying to somebody on this first Sunday of the year that he has anointed you with his holy oil. And he said, when he anointed David with his holy oil, there are certain things that he was able to do. Verse 21, it says that, with whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen the Lord will strengthen you this year and you will be established I declare that every business represented in this church will be established this year hallelujah you will be established you will be profitable you will increase you will multiply you will go international hallelujah if you have a business that you have branches all over West Africa and Africa and Europe, and you would be there. Hallelujah. And you are sitting there in Shira Nanyamishra. It comes with words. I am declaring blessing for you. I 
am declaring blessing for you. I am declaring blessing for you. A blessing is better than a curse. And by that blessing, I reverse every curse. This year, you will not go round, 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 round without achieving your goal. This year, you will go up, 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 up. Let me hear somebody shout yes. This year, nobody will pull you down. Everybody will push you up. Hallelujah. This year, you will not cry tears of sorrow. You will cry tears of joy. With whom my hand shall be established. My arm also will strengthen him. This year, when everybody is weak, you will be strong. Verse 22. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. I declare that this year you will not be afflicted with any kind of disease or pain or any kind of disaster. You will not be afflicted because the anointing of the Lord is resting upon you. Hallelujah. 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 Even this morning, if you are feeling some symptom of sickness, half of your head, uh, here we are. Today, I declare that the affliction is gone. I feel we won't can say, me yari no ababio. If say yari no enye wudi e, won't can say me ti no ababio, me nai no ababio. We be can say me shira no ababio. Hallelujah. 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 May all those who must be married this year be married. I give you six months for counseling. So from July, depending on when the relationship starts, some of them will start today. Some of them will start tomorrow. So they will start the day afterwards. Look at somebody next to you. Especially the choristers. See, may it be you. Hallelujah. 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 And verse 25. I don't let me jump and then so I can go back. He said. I will set his hand also in the sea and his right hand in the rivers. This year, you will walk in abundance. You will control money. You will control people. You will control business. You will control schools. If I were to be you, I'll stand up, put my hands together and give the Lord a shout. Yes! His hand will be in the sea. His right hand will be in the rivers. He will be controlling. May you also control money. May you control wealth. May you control industries, businesses. May you rise to the top. Let me hear somebody shout, yes. I see somebody moving from the back forward. I see somebody moving from the bottom to the top. I see somebody, somebody's business being rearranged. I am declaring things. They are starting from the month of January. May God give you a token sign. May he give you a token sign. May he give you a token sign. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may things begin to turn around for you again. May the light of God break forth for you. Please take your seats. Wonderful. If you are clapping, go ahead and clap. This is Nyama Bessie Samao. I see Odi Nisan Atu Epum Nusu. Hallelujah. Something like that. Just say one man to me. Ah. I feel we who kasa unkofu be joani. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then we can say, be unto you. Free. And then after I saw you, we know. We can say, go for pet you. And baby, say, then I hope say, yeah, yeah, I see people obtaining wealth. We haven't seen anything yet of the abundance of God. And in this our year of excellence, we need the spirit of excellence. And when we look in Daniel chapter 6 verse 3, the Bible says that Daniel had an excellent spirit. So I'm talking about the spirit of excellence. Excellent spirit. Excellent spirit. And because he had an excellent spirit, you know Daniel served three generations of kings over more than 60 years because he had an excellent By that excellent spirit, you get long life. By an excellent spirit, you will become relevant. Hallelujah. I don't know what excellent spirit is. It's in tree. But Hallelujah. Because when they say something is excellent, it is outstanding. This year, may you be outstanding. May I not yet show all level? No. Omo na omo bomo bomo dempa. First six subjects. Omo na one 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 aggregate six. No. Now your friend distinction. This year, may you get distinction. Hallelujah. May your business get distinction. In your school, may you get distinction. Distinguished. Hallelujah. So be who I say almost a week yet or yet will be now or call harvest chapel. You be behind it. Come on. To say Kamala. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am setting you on the path of distinction, on an outstanding path. And we can only have that when we have a spirit of excellence. And we will look at some of the characteristics of this spirit of excellence. But we are saying when somebody is also excellent, he does things well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. So, I'll turn it out here. I'll turn it here. Yes, I'll turn it now. Chris is warm. Very much. I'll turn it here. Now, I want to call her. Oh, yeah, excellent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On shirt, socks, white, any yellow. I'm making sure say socks no share no right one any left one no eh, pe, pe, pe. hallelujah and let me tell you brothers women our young ladies they are looking for excellent men hallelujah so this year make yourself excellent are you listening to me oh sisters am I lying are you looking for any kula 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 person? They are not saying you should be rich, but be excellent. Because when you are excellent, you become rich. Hallelujah. If you are an excellent mason, you become rich. Excellent carpenter, you become rich. Excellent dressmaker. Excellent dressmaker. I will see him before we have Monday. Monday now. I've been numb so now. I've been nyaseka. Hallelujah. And some of us, small money that we get. Yen ye jumanu ye. Yen ye yen ye ye jumanu bio. One thousand. We say my pong. 
holidays in Yami, Yejuma Bio. That is no excellence. You have seen, if you are a thousand year, somebody is a millionaire. If you are a millionaire, somebody is a billionaire. If you are a billionaire, somebody is a trillionaire. See, wherever you are, you can get better. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. This Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him. Hallelujah. This year, you will be preferred above all your classmates. You'll be preferred above all your business mates. Because an excellent spirit is found in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one thing that characterizes an ex somebody with an excellent spirit is that he watches the company that he is in. Psalm 1, verse 1. Verse 2, verse 3. That will be my main anchor verse for this sermon. Psalm 1. Nyum. Ti bakun. Nti chumun bakun. Nibwa. Hallelujah. So today, check your dressing. Whether it's excellent. Sometimes even our walking is not excellent. Hallelujah. Brothers, but you, know, you don't comb your hair. That was a new style. The sisters are looking for excellent people. This year, they'll marry excellent people. Yeah. But if you want to marry an excellent person, you too, you have to be excellent. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Your company will help you to have an excellent spirit. This year, keep away from negative people. Keep away from criticizing people. People who criticize everything they see. They don't see any good anywhere. Apart from they alone. Hallelujah. And if in the world you alone are right and everybody is wrong, check yourself. Hallelujah. So watch your company. Because bad company will destroy good morals. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. To have an excellent spirit, we must be in the right company. And you cannot tell me that you will always be in bad company. But as for you, you are a good person. Because Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says, Can two walk together unless they be agreed? to make as a media 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 papa but we know come on in here oh my oh my drug addicts hallelujah and i said oh my no my son to say uh fish now what's he no look at nchebiya oh my subhanu ebe ebe pete wo hallelujah nchebiya if you are moving with people who are Professors of insulting people and Chabia unconsciously know you start insulting people. Hallelujah. If you are moving with people who always come late to church and Chabia, you start coming late to church. Hallelujah. This year, everything we must do should be excellent. So keep away from the scornful, keep away from those who don't see anything good anywhere. And let me say that this church is a good church. Are you clapping or you are shouting? Or you are looking at me like a mirror? 
Because God is here. Hallelujah. And this year, he will be here more. I prophesy answers to prayer this year. I prophesy good days for you. Hallelujah. Psalm 119 verse 63. We must be in good company. If we are going to have an excellent spirit like Daniel, he was in the company of the other Hebrew children. It was good company. We need to be in good company to have an excellent spirit. We need the company of people who are instead of criticizing, they are praying. When you continue being among people who are praying, you too, the prayer will rub off on you. Hallelujah. Be among people who are working hard. You too, you work hard. Don't be among people, children, that you are among people that you are not working and you want your parents to do everything for you. You too, do something for yourself. Hallelujah. You are 33 years old, you are in the house and you are not working. You are taking cocoa and cozy from your mother every day. And you have a group of people that you always, after uh, breakfast, you just go and play drafts. This year, leave that company. Go to excellent people company. Hallelujah. Look for something to do. God will bless what you do. Somebody say amen. amen. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and that keep their, their precepts. That is the companion you must have. Those who fear God and those who keep his prayer. Not those who insult the pastors in the church and insult the deacons and insult the elders and insult the heads of department. I tell you, if somebody is insulting somebody to you, he will insult you to somebody. Let me come tell Martin. You can say, Oh, would you win? Yes, sir. And yet, could you kill me with it? Oh, yes, sir. And Chebia, I can't go. She asked, I'll kill me with it, boy. No, also, we can say, Oh, and you will, and you will. See, the moment you are working with people who are like that, break your company. Enter new company. Enter excellent company limited. Amen. Amen. So our company is very important if we are to have an excellent spirit. And in verse 2 of Psalm chapter 1, he says that there is something which he does. He delights himself of the Lord. If you are to have an excellent spirit you must learn how to be close to God and spend quality time in the word of God. This year we will excel but those who excel are those know, who know the importance of God's word in their lives. Because at the end of the day, my friends, the most important thing is what God says about us. Hallelujah. I'm glad that at least one person is clapping. What God says about us. And he says that he does not only meditate on it, but he does that word. Hallelujah. So let us develop an excellent spirit by delighting ourselves on the, in the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 9 verse 10 verse 11 verse 11 says that word have I in my heart, am I right? That I might not sin against thee. Hallelujah. So if you are sinning, that means the word of God is not in your heart. Hallelujah. 
you cannot munte the mekano. You cannot be good and be and do bad. If you are doing bad, it means you are bad. Hallelujah. We can say what you say. That is why those of you who are not yet married, like right now, Nasha and Terry are married, no. And I want you to understand that some of you have been telling me you've lost your daughter. You don't know what has happened. I have gained a son. If you don't feel like clapping, go clap. I have not lost a daughter. I have gained a son. Yes. Hallelujah. All of your, your mind no and sister. Fast scrubbing brush and scrubbing mind. So we will be doers of the word and not hearers only. Hallelujah. 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 Because in um, James chapter 1 verse 22 to verse 25 and you must in this year if you are going to have an excellent spirit be careful what you hear and more importantly be careful what you meditate on it's not everything you must listen to it's not everything that must get space in your beautiful ears hallelujah some things must just pass from one ear to the other ear. Some things when they enter, like the word of God, when it enters, let it stay and do something about it. Hallelujah. An excellent spirit is triggered by we delighting in the word of God and doing it. Doing it. Like well, have I heard in my heart that time? And then when you continue to 97. Of the same Psalm 119 and 98 and 99 and 100. I'm, I'll speak some prophetic words concerning some people. How I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. And then it goes on to verse 98. Through thy commandments thou hast made me wiser than my enemies. May you be wiser than your enemies because you obey the word of God. And it goes beyond that. Verse 99. And it says, I have more understanding than all my teachers because your testimonies are my meditation. This year, if you are going to have an excellent spirit, meditate on the testimonies of God to make you wiser than all your teachers. And then verse 100 says, I understand more than the Asians because I keep thy precepts. This year, I plead with you, the sermons that are preached from this place, keep them and do something about them and obey them because that is where your salvation will lie. It will lie in the word of the Lord. It will not lie in the word of man. Hallelujah. When everybody is giving up, the word of God will prevail for you. So to have an excellent spirit, watch your company, but also watch what you hear and what you meditate upon. And then, if you are going to have an excellent spirit, watch what you do. What, what you do in Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 to verse 10 the Bible tells us that this book of the law will not depart out of our mouth we will meditate therein and then to observe to do according to what is written in it and then he said when that happens your way becomes prosperous you have excellence and then you have good success that is excellence hallelujah 
observe to do. There are so many people in this church. You have been in the church for a long time. So you think that by virtue of being in the church for a long time, you know, you know everything. But you don't know anything. Because Bible no I can say we should receive the word of God like a child. Hallelujah. When you receive like a child, you obey it like a child. And it will work for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this year, if we are going to have an excellent spirit, may we be doers of the word. May we do it. Simple instruction, do it. Don't, may, don't be complicated. Hallelujah. And I believe that if we are to have an excellent spirit also, when we look in 1 Timothy chapter 4, I believe verse 7 and verse 8, we must learn to live godly lives. Godly lives. Godly lives. Hallelujah. For bodily, verse 7, no. Okay. Refuse profane and old wives fables hallelujah stop these stories about your grandmother is the cause of you not being married and you are waiting for the time your grandmother dies before you get married so you are every day you are praying i cut off the life of my grandmother whatever in the life, no, yeah, try, try, try the life, no, money, who, oh, sorry, ah, oh, da, man, man, no, sorry, but she's sleeping and waking up, 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 it's an old wives fable. Because the Bible says that we will step upon serpents and scorpions and upon everything of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt us. Even if you were born into a household of witchcraft by the blood of Jesus you have been delivered. Amen. Hallelujah. So he says put aside those fables but rather exercise yourself unto godliness. That is why we are going to fast for 21 days. We are not going to starve for 21 days. We are going to fast. We are exercising ourselves unto godliness. Then can say, me this is me, yeah. I think I will say, yeah, no, that is where your breakthrough no, is coming. And since you don't know when your breakthrough will come, continue doing it. Say, so, yeah, yeah, answer. Hallelujah. every brother you see, no, just be nice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And by June, July, no. Now break to no, Hallelujah. If I have to be somebody, I'll say, Me, Russo. Somebody is looking for a husband. That is how it happens. So, I have seen people in this church. I made pronouncements. They took it personally. Last week, somebody came here. They said that you made a declaration in October 2019. I took it personally. Within 24 hours, I had my miracle. Yes. Another person came and said, I asked you to declare something concerning me. And when you declared it, everything went well. So I'm coming again. Do it again for me. So don't think that God is not here. The same God who parted the Red Sea. That same God is working here. The same God who made the sun to stand still until the people of Israel got their victory. I declare that the same God is here. If he has to make the elements to stand still because of you, he will do it until you get your victory. Let me hear some of this shout, yes. Who will do it. <coughs> I've seen people in this church. Positions have been created for them. 
They were not there. It's the same God. Obey and send you near my man is also now be out who said, Yen Yamina Yasum on die. Was sorry, oh, ye juma, oh, ya babum. Put your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> and then verse 8, he says, verse 8. That bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things. If we are going to have an excellent spirit, let's exercise ourselves unto godliness. Do some godly exercise. Hallelujah. Do some, the first thing that we are doing, do it also. And do some more. Pray some more. It will work for you. Hallelujah. Remember that Daniel. In Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, he said that I am not going to take the food that is offered to the other people. I am setting myself aside. This year, do something differently. Hallelujah. This year, tell yourself that I will do something, do some godly exercise. It will make me excellent. It will make me distinguished. It will make me outstanding. Hallelujah. May you become outstanding. And then, maybe one last thing before I close this morning, that if we are going to have an excellent spirit, one characteristic of having an excellent spirit is that we will prosper. Verse 3 of Psalm 1. You will prosper. This year you will prosper. Yeah. Hallelujah. Even if nobody has noticed you, this year divine connection will bring you prosperity. So make up your mind that I will prosper. Because it says, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Are you doing something? May it prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit of excellence is a spirit of prosperity. And I am speaking that spirit into this church. That anyone who is connected to that spirit of excellence, whatever you are doing, may that thing prosper. May God give you an idea that will bring solutions to problems and that will bring you financial wealth. Hallelujah. But it is the way you do it. Today I'm on the brothers. You are wearing shoes. Your shoe is black. And you just get up in the morning and then just wear it and come to church. When you wear it, take brush and shine the shoe. Hallelujah. Shine it until you can see your face in the shoe. And Chebi Asi Sabi Befau Cheng. Papa who say, hey, so what to me shine shoes? And they over to measure me. Hallelujah. I'm giving somebody a word of wisdom. And when you get to church, sisters, simple advice. Even if you are walking, when you get to church, just go, take, go to one of the side places. Go and polish up nicely. Nobody will know that you walk to church. Go and clean your shoe nicely. Then wear a smile on your face. And Chebia, your breakthrough will come. Because brothers don't like sisters that every time I make two of me here. This year is an excellent year. You are wearing white dress, it's nice, but your face is not nice because you are not smiling. Somebody give me a wave of it. Today I'm taking my time. We need excellent spirit in this church. So let us trust God. In 2 
Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. He said, but God is able to make all sufficient. He, he's able to give us all sufficiency. This year, he will give you all sufficiency in all things. Hallelujah. He will make you prosper. Excellent spirit, it comes with prosperity. Hallelujah. May somebody prosper. Somebody within the reach of my voice, may you prosper. Hallelujah. And I am still declaring that one of these days on this altar will be the hundred thousand dollars. Never had. Hey. And you don't lose anything by clapping and by shouting and by saying it is me. You don't lose anything. You don't lose anything. You don't lose anything. But you gain everything. If we are going to have an excellent spirit, my friends, let us be soul winners. Because he that winners souls is wise. Hallelujah. He that winners souls is wise. He that winners souls is wise. The Bible says about Jesus in Luke chapter 2 verse 52 that he grew up in wisdom and stature and favor with man and God. And what did Jesus do? In Matthew chapter 9, when you look from verse 35, he went around everywhere preaching. In this year of excellence, those with the spirit of excellence, they will win souls. Rise up to your feet right now. Jesus. Begin to pray this morning, this first Sunday of this year. Just begin to pray. Say, Lord, anoint me with the spirit of excellence. Makabala babo seke bere ke bere ke ya, rabala kate seke te ya, rabake te seke bere ke ya. The apostle says that we should do the work of an evangelist. This year, may you win souls. May you do the work of an evangelist. Make bere ke te seke ya, mika babo seke te ya, rala babo seke bere kata ya. This year, may the words that come out of your mouth build and not break down. May no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. But such as is good for edification. May we receive an anointing for excellence. May we put on that new man. That is renewed after God in all godliness and righteousness. That righteousness that symbolizes excellence. May you do the right things. May you be distinguished. May you be outstanding. This morning, maybe you came into this service and you don't know what the year holds for you. You feel and you realize that you need a certain anchor for your soul. You need to hold on to the master of the universe. You need to put your trust in somebody who is greater than you. And 
and also greater than your enemies. You came into this service with even symptoms of disease and sickness on your body. In the past year, you lost people in your family. You are wondering what's going to happen this year. I make a declaration in the name of Jesus that none will be lost and no one will die before their time. But for you, my brother and my sister, my mother and my father, who does not even know what it means to have a relationship with Jesus. This morning, I'm reaching out to you. And I'm saying that softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling you. He's reaching out for you and me. He's saying, why are you continuing to live your life the way you want to live it? Surrender your all to me and I will make something beautiful out of your life. This morning, if you can hear me, the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. He's asking you to surrender your life to him. I want you to take a simple step of faith. Wherever you are standing, just lift up your right hand. Say, Jesus, on this first Sunday, I'm coming to you. I've led my life my own way. Maybe I'm even a good person. But I know that if Jesus will come tonight, I am not sure whether my name will be among the names on his roster. But today, I want to be sure. This first Sunday of the year, I want to be sure. If you are the one that I'm speaking to, just lift up your right hand. As every eye is closed. In prayer. And in intercession. And God will do something beautiful out of your life. If your hand is lifted up, just lift it high up to the Lord. Just lift it high up to the Lord. I just want to be very sure that this year you are not going it alone. That the king is with you. That the deliverer is with you. If your hand is lifted up, just lift it high up to the Lord. In the balcony, if your hand is lifted up, just lift it high up to the Lord. Jesus is calling. He's calling softly. But he's calling tenderly. Saying, come to me. I will make meaning out of your life. No matter how old you are, it's not too late to sincerely start with him. If your hand is lifted up, I want you to take one more step. If any ashes close to them, you can help them. Just walk right to the front here. If you lifted up your hand, Take your wallet or your bag or whatever you came to church with and just walk confidently to the front here. In the balcony, just walk down the steps and come here. On this first Sunday of the year, God is speaking. May you listen. Somebody else needs to join these ones. Just confidently come to the front here. May today be your day of testimony. I'm not asking you whether you are baptized or whether you are confirmed. I'm asking you, is Jesus in the driving seat of your life? Give me a final opportunity to somebody. This is why God allowed you to come here today. You want to join these ones? We are just going to pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every other eye closed. Lift up your two hands, those who are standing in front here, please. Somebody needs to join these ones. Just waiting for a few more seconds for you. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May it be that nobody who should come to the Lord today will turn away from the voice of the master. Let's say this prayer together with them. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you just as I am. Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. From today, I surrender my all to you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for taking me out of darkness into your light. Amen. Father, I pray for these ones. I declare by the name of Jesus Christ that your eyes will be over them. You will show them your goodness. Let it be, O oh God, that they will stand for you. Their lives will be living testimonies. Preserve them. Give them a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare this. Amen. Please just follow this gentleman. Clap for them. Thank you for listening to the message. Visit us on www.harvestinternationalministries.org Send us an email through office at harvestinternationalministries.org or call us on 0302-222-372 or 0302-229-109. God bless you.